Conservatorships have been in the news a lot in the last couple of years. And for some folks, when you heard about Britney Spears or Michael Orr, maybe it was the first time you'd ever heard of a conservatorship. So what are they? What are some differences between Oklahoma and some other states? So Lashandra Johnson is with Johnson Cephas Law, is here this morning to talk with us about that and more. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us again today. Very happy to be here. Let's start with the basics. What is a conservatorship in Oklahoma and who are the parties involved? Yes, so in Oklahoma, it is defined by Oklahoma statute. And the first requirement is a residentiary requirement that you have to be in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. But there are two key requirements. The first one is that this person who we call a ward, which is a person who has a physical disability, that due to this physical disability, they are unable to care for their property. Okay. The second requirement is that this person has to voluntarily consent to the establishment of the conservatorship and to a conservator being appointed. Okay, so in Michael Orr's case, you know, former NFL player, the subject of the Blindside movie, just I'm just going to go over some of it and then we'll talk about it. So in the lawsuit that he filed recently, Michael Orr says when he was 18, he claims he was tricked into signing legal papers as part of being what he thought adopted by the Tui family. That, he claims, gave the Tui's ultimate control over his contracts. He claims the Tui made money off the blindside film. He didn't. The Tui's deny these. So, Lashandra, what's going on? Because Tennessee, obviously, that they're going to have different laws than we do here. Yes. So, in Tennessee, their law regarding conservatorship is a little bit different. So, they define conservatorship as a legal relationship where a party who is disabled, they remove their decision-making ability and vest it with another person. Oh. What's really important is to look at how Tennessee defines a disabled person, which is a person who is at least 18 years old old and a person who needs protection or assistance due to a physical disability or a mental incompetence. Okay, so that's that's really interesting because in follow-up interviews, Michael Orr has disputed some of the things shown in the movie, like that he couldn't read or write. He's disputed that. So I think that that's interesting, but I want to go back to Oklahoma conservatorships just one more time before we get into guardianships. One more time. So Oklahoma conservatorships, you have to be physically disabled and that is defined as what, once again? So unable to, because of the physical, physical disability, care for their property. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about Michael Orr, one thing that is very controversial in this case is, as you mentioned in the petition, it states blatantly that at that time, Michael Orr had no known physical or psychological disabilities. Mm. So when you look at the Tennessee law, which requires that on its face, it appears as if when the conservatorship was created, it was not created in compliance with Tennessee law. Okay, so there's, again, this case is still outstanding, both sides saying different things. We will see how that plays out. One more thing about Oklahoma. We had mentioned guardianships at the top. Guardianships, I would assume, maybe something you see more commonly. Yes. What is a guardianship? So, under Oklahoma law, a person may need a legal guardianship if they are determined to be physically or mentally incompetent based on a court's decision. And so, two key terms that are important to know are guardian, which is a court-appointed caregiver who is legally responsible to care for the property and or person of an incapacitated or incompetent person. Okay. And so one thing that you might notice right away is that when you look at a conservatorship versus a guardianship, the guardianship deals with both mental and physical incapacity and a conservatorship deals with just physical disability in Oklahoma. Okay, so in Oklahoma, maybe some of our viewers are out there and saying, okay, uh, a guardianship, it sounds like someone in my family may qualify for this, or this may be a route that I want to go down. So for viewers out there who are like, yeah, we may need to look into setting up a guardianship, how, where do you even start? Because I know with the legal system, and you see this with your clients, maybe yes. they've never been involved in a courtroom. They've never been in a courtroom before. Yes. So the main thing is to really know what you want and yeah. what you need. So do you need a guardianship? Do you need a conservatorship? Do you need to be have power over this person's property or over all of their decisions? You need to really know what is happening. And you need to also consult an attorney. This is such an important decision. And to avoid what Michael Orr and the Tuies are going through, then you want to make sure you have that legal expertise to explain to you not only the impact that it has on all the parties now, but 
but in the future. And I think it's a good idea too, we just have a little bit of time, just always a reminder, make sure you know what you're signing because that can have lifelong impacts. Yes, for sure. Well, Sandra Johnson, thank you so much and we will see you again soon. All right, thank you.